Hey guys, Tommy Bryson here. Welcome to the Tommy Bryson Show. And today we're going to react to a celebrity personal assistant and she makes $36,000. And I wanna see exactly how this lady right here goes ahead and spends that money. By the way, I always wanted to work for a celebrity, but usually the only way to get a job is basically, hey, I'm gonna work for you for free. You know, that's usually how I did it in the beginning, but then it's like, all right, I'm working for free, but I need some money too, you know? Cause you find, you find out basically, hey, okay, this is a normal person. Normal people, doesn't matter. Nah, I need some income, okay? So let's see exactly how this lady right here spends her $36,000 income. By the way, guys, I post videos every single day, so make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified and about also destroying the like button. Without further ado, let's see exactly how this lady spends all of her income. I am a celebrity personal assistant and I make $36,000 a year. So my take home is $3,000 a month. $3,000 a month, but she gets paid on 1099 most likely. So in reality, whoa, she pays probably a lot of taxes. 977 a month goes to rent. By the way, not that much money, not that much money at all towards rent, but it's almost a third of her income. $200 goes to car payment and insurance. I oh, she has a car payment and insurance. So her car is not that fancy. I like that, but I would have liked it better if she bought the cat the car for cash and didn't have to put it like a car payment on it. So pretty good. I spend $150 on utilities and I spend $30 on monthly subscriptions. Not that bad. This lady's kind of frugal, you know? The rent is too high. The car, which I was paid off, the utilities, not that bad. Subscription's only 30 bucks, probably like um, iTunes or Netflix. Not that bad at all. What about her phone bill? Oh, it's probably like the person pays for it. Let's see. That leaves around $1,643 to spend. Wow, to spend or to invest. Let's see what she does with the money, guys. This is the time, okay? This is when we learn what type of person this lady is. 32 years old. California, let's see her. I have zero dollars in savings. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm confused. I'm confused, okay? You have $1,600 free, and you have zero dollars in savings. Zero, like no money. Okay, let's let's keep watching, maybe I'm wrong. And zero dollars in credit card debt. And I okay, so where's the money going? Is it investing? Is it, is it just having fun? What's going on here? I have zero dollars in student loans. All right, so she's debt free, but she has no savings. Where, where's the money? Being a celebrity personal assistant is very rewarding, but it is actually kind of hard. I am on call all the time. So yeah, I don't like those jobs. I hate those jobs, you know? Even when I, I remember I had I had a job. I won't say with the person. I wouldn't even mention it because because you guys will know exactly who it is. I, I'll say, I don't really care. I was in a job, I was an editor for a person, and the, the videos were very sporadic, like all throughout the whole day. And I was like, I had to be on call every single moment because sometimes it'll be in the morning, sometimes it'll be like at night, in the afternoon. So I had like no type of like, it was like, okay, so when do I go to the gym? When do I eat? I don't know because basically it's whenever you want them available, right? I love having a schedule, you know, like, hey, here's when the work starts, here's when it ends. You have to respect people's time, man. I don't like that. but. This is her job and she picked that. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's like, man, I wish I could just, you know, have a chill moment, but you're just kind of always. Yeah, I think people think it's fun. Like I'm um, helping people out, like as a celebrity, like, oh, get me this, get me this, get me this. Oh, it's 3 a.m. Get me this, get me this, get me available, be available. You have to be a very, a very given person to do that. Um, I'm very given. I'm not this type of person at all though. I, I like having like um, a schedule. I love schedule. I wouldn't be able to do this at all. It'll, it'll, it'll make me crazy. On the go. And I am very much responsible for this other person's schedule. Here's my last statement. My most expensive purchase was at Ralph's for $65.96. What does she buy? Ralph's is like a clothes store, guys. That's how I shop at Goodwill. I shop literally at Goodwill or this store called Uniqlo. I think it's Uniqlo and it's like $5 a t-shirt. That's usually where I shop, literally. Like, I don't spend any money. I don't go to any of these fancy stores at all. I was dating this dude, and he was throwing an oyster party. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, do you have other food? And he's like, nah, it's just oysters. And I'm just like, how many people are there? There's like 10, 15. And I was just like, are you kidding me? And he's like, no. What are oysters? Oysters, ugh, I'm terrible with food, too. Like, I just like chicken breasts, and that's all I like. Don't get food. Don't get anything else. I'm like, whatever. So Ralph is like a, like a supermarket. I was mistaken. I ended up buying snacks, drinks, alcohol, like food, everything. And then everybody ate everything. 
Oh, okay. So she's just being nice. Do I mind that? The answer is no. 65 bucks, not that bad. Everybody devoured it. I was the one to get more food. He didn't pay me back. <laughs> she said he didn't pay me back. I told you not to get any food. I ain't got no money. So I, all I had was a fridge full of oysters. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's like it's like if you're like inviting people to like your house and you're like, now nah, all we <laughs> all we have is potatoes because you have some potatoes, and then she wants to go ahead and buy things and you didn't ask her to. So who's at fault here, guys? Who's at fault? Is it the guy or is it her? Like no one told her to be buying all that stuff. Forty dollars at the Virgil. That was my friend's birthday. What's the Virgil? I don't know what that is. $30 at Quicker Printer. It's another print shop near my house. It's like a local print shop and they do an amazing job and they're very affordable. I what are the, why is she getting printed? Like a print, like print and stuff? Or like t-shirts, like what is she printing? This is so vague. I run a hip hop game show in LA and I printed a bunch of rappers heads and had them laminated. $30. Oh, interesting. So it's kind of like a business, I guess. Dollars at El Cid, which is a bar. Thirty-one seventy-six. By the way, usually people don't notice this, but you don't become broke all of a sudden. It just—it's just like one transaction at a time. So it's like step by step. You buy something here, here, here. Look at all the transactions over there, guys. Okay, it's, it's a lot. So it just keeps adding up and adding up, and all of a sudden your one thousand six hundred dollar surplus is gone on a whole bunch of liabilities that don't actually help you with anything. At Venmo. I probably bought something off of like a vendor. I don't know. $50.70 at Standard Station. And that's that dude again. It was fucked up because at this point, I knew I didn't want to date him. Oh, so she was stuck paying for everything. Um, I don't know. I don't I don't mind like my girlfriend buying me things. Um, I don't know. She doesn't mind if I buy her something, but it's not like I'm um, kind of like a, like a, you only buy things or I only buy things, right? It's more, and not even like, like you have to buy me something when I buy. It's more like, you know, like we're just like, um, like normal. You know, if I get something, I get something. She gets something, she gets something. It's not a big deal, but nobody's like, like trying to take advantage of anything. Okay. That I don't like those people at all. And I think maybe like a couple of days before, like we went out for drinks and he bought me a couple of drinks. So I felt obligated to, you know, get the next round. And Oh, I see. I see. And it was fifty dollars, and I hated him. Like at that point, I was just so annoyed. But <laughs> why is she so mad? Like, that's the thing, man. When somebody gives you something, don't feel obligated. Although, what's it called? Psychologically, you will feel obligated. It's just like a psychological thing. So that's why sometimes, for example, I write a book about this stuff. When, like, you know, like when you're outside on the street and they offer you like a flower and be like, oh, here's a flower. Do you mind giving us a donation? You're like, okay, I'll give you the donation. Because basically I got a flower and now I feel obligated. It's like a scientific thing to this also. Psychological thing, not scientific. Although it is scientific, but it's more like psychological. So you guys know what's going on, right? You, know, you guys know what I'm talking about. But I still spent the money. It was just so dumb. Like, what am I doing? I spent $18 at Sprouts Farmers Eagle Rock. They have Hanson Soda and all right, guys, so I feel like this whole video is just her spending random little transactions, okay? That's how I'm and feeling. I bought so many sodas for me and my roommate. We really like him. That's why her rent is so low. She lives in a $2,000 apartment. They're probably like going like half, half, and half. That's why she pays like so less money. Well, such a, a small amount of money in Los Angeles. $13.09 at. What is that, $165? I don't see it. Chipotle? Is that Chipotle down there? I can't see, oh, Geico, Geico, okay, Geico. By Chloe, by Chloe is a vegan restaurant. I'm not a vegan, but it's really good, and I definitely splurge at that place. Like, I People spend so much money on food, it's disgusting. Like, so much money on food. Like, I remember, I saw a video yesterday, um, me and my editor saw it too, because I'm pretty sure he edited it already, or maybe not, but um, the video was on this couple that spent literally $2,000 a month on food. Two people. That's it, two people, guys. I love it. $12.50 at June. That is a falafel spot. $7.65. I'm guessing that all her money is going towards food. Five cents at Pie Hole. I ate a savory pie. <laughs> I ate a savory pie. And it was really good. I have no regrets. $13. <laughs> I have no regrets. <laughs> I, I'm I'm done with these reaction videos, guys. I can't I can't do this anymore. <laughs> this is like hilarious. Venmo. I'm pretty sure that's food. El Waracha Azteca. That's also food. Eighteen dollars. I think I bought somebody food. Seven dollars and seventy five cents at Joy. Joy is a Taiwanese. Guys, 
this girl is just buying food, man. Like, I just want to get to like the point where I find out like how much of her money is going towards food, but it's like, it's so much food. Street food spot, $11.92 at Amara Kitchen, another food place. I'm so we got a problem, okay? We got a problem. a pattern. It's good, but I'm never gonna go back there because it's very overpriced. Fourteen dollars at the Den on Sunset Hollywood. What's the Den? What is that? What's the Den? It was my old boss's birthday. So the next debit is Venmo. It's twenty dollars. This one's a little tricky because I don't know where it's from. Mmm. Mmm. It's difficult when you have like all these little transactions, you don't even know where your money is and going. And I feel like Venmo is very dangerous to us all. My most frequent purchase is at Trader Joe's, 2647. I go to Trader Joe's pretty often. They're very affordable and like- Affordable. Are they $1,600 affordable? Good and fresh, and I can tell you exactly what I bought. I bought two little salads. I bought two avocados. I bought arugula. I bought cherry tomatoes. I bought cucumbers. I bought... All so she bought salads, but she also bought the ingredients to make more salad. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I know. Well, this is crazy, man. vinegar, and I make a salad out of that. The next charge is... <laughs> yeah, you you got the salad, but you also have the ingredients. Like, what are you doing? It is one fifty, and that's parking in Santa Monica, and that definitely expired. And I definitely got a ticket. Sheesh! A ticket is like a hundred dollars, right? <clears throat> I think a ticket is like a hundred dollars. I'm not sure, but the cards are expensive, man. A little ticket, you're done. Eight dollars at the nail salon. I usually get my eyebrows waxed. I don't mind like girls and women or men or whatever, like spend the money on like their looks is fine. But like, you know, like th like it's a lot of money so far going towards food with this whole like budget. Like religiously, they're not waxed right now. I'm letting them grow out. As you can tell, it's a joke. <laughs> $15 at CVS usually I'll buy almond milk and kind bars and sometimes alcohol if it's on sale. $7.94 at Chipotle. $28.51 at CVS and Another CVS purchase, okay. And I definitely also. This is what happens when your money has no purpose, right? If you're making like a, like a decent amount of money and your expenses are low, the extra money, if you don't have a job for it, it just leaves your hand just like that. Doesn't You don't even know where it goes. Like I'm pretty sure like for the first time ever, she's seen all this stuff all of a sudden. Like she probably never seen this before. It's interesting, you know, I, I, it's very interesting. So bought snacks. Like Basically give your money a job. Yes, I love snacks. Jesus. All of the. You see, you see her guys? Guess I love smack. I had no idea. It's probably for These rent. These PayPal charges, I am fairly is, certain uh, that they are Uber charges. Oh, Uber charges. But she has a car. Like, what's going on here? Like, you have a car. Why are you spending like over $100 a month on, on Uber? My bad habits are definitely... $61. A transportation and eating out, and most likely eating out involves alcohol. I, I love the way like they put this picture here, like total spent this month, especially like on like on the chips or like this or that, the keys, whatever. This is small. The problem is her eating out habits. They're insane. They're ridiculous. El Huaracha, 1062. It's a really good cheap place. It's walkable from my house. I <laughs> is that about the total cost? It's about how much you spend. Oh my God. I really like this place. And I can tell you right now that if I was eating $10.62 worth of food there, it lasted me three days. I was with that dude again and we got. <laughs> so so she's, she's, she still doesn't like the dude, but she's, I, I, guess, I bet she's gonna marry him or something like that. <laughs> coffee and it was expensive. That was one cup of coffee and it was five. Five dollars and seventy-five. I'm not a coffee guy, so I don't really know the cost. But I know, for example, Starbucks was like six dollars and seven dollars. I would never understand the cost of any liquid costing more than a dollar. You know, remember like the soda is a dollar, water a dollar. I I like that for liquids, but anything above that is just like insane. Pina coladas at a restaurant, I don't mind because it's like a restaurant. You're there for entertainment. But like anything else is just like insane to me. I don't get it. Five seventy five. So fifteen dollars. Again, it's that man. I bought him coffee and I think I bought him a bagel as well. I just like Oh wow. Like regret anything that was associated <laughs> with him. I guess they broke up because every time they had to go out, she had to pay. Interesting. Even though it was really good coffee. $7.81 at an Arco because I'm sure I was buying. All right, guys, we're going to have to skip through this video because I can't I can't take no more of these motion actions. Simple drink. The beach, I was on a date. 
Oh, she was on, she was on a date, Plus guys. 81 cents at Kitchen Downtown LA. More food. I went on a date and thirteen dollars going. I mean, that's a little apparent. I got into the show for free. <laughs> All right, guys. So overall, here, let's see what's the what in the end. My relationship with money is terrible. I very terrible, very bad. I don't know. How and by the way, it's fixable. It's not like I'm born like this. I can't fix it. It's a problem. How to save money? I eat out a lot. I. I think the problem is that basically. A lot of people is basically their money doesn't have a job. Like, you know, your job should give you security. Anytime a celebrity can just fire you, you're done with them, right? They can't, they don't, you don't have a job anymore. So have emergency money, three to six months. Also start investing your money habitually every single month, every time you get paid. That way you're good to go. Set money aside for having fun and so on, right? Just give your money a job. That's all you have to do. That's the secret, okay? Just give your money a job. I just, I, I spend money on things I know I shouldn't, and I never grew up ever talking about money. I am interested in personal finance, but I find it a little daunting. Yeah, it is daunting, especially when no one taught you anything. I understand that perspective, but it's all about, you know, this is an opportunity for her to be like, okay, so here's the problem right in my face. How do I fix this? Okay. How do I fix this? Do I go to Trader Joe's, buy a month full of groceries? Maybe do that. But do you spend a thousand, you have zero dollars in savings and you have a thousand six hundred dollars extra and you don't know where that money is going. Well, it's going all towards food and going out and all this stuff. It's ridiculous. Because I'm a freelancer. So let's say, for instance, this month I'm making like 3000 But then, you know, next month I can be making like 7000 It's always... So overall, guys, what I'm saying is this, guys, okay? Whenever you have a job like this where basically... You don't know how much money you're going to make every month. By the way, sometimes it can just completely stop, right? You got to save money for emergencies. You got to start investing your money. And by the way, the cool thing is basically when you're a freelancer, all the money you invest becomes basically a tax deduction. So basically, you basically save a lot of money. It's all about, hey, how can I manage my future? Also think about like, hey, do I want to keep doing this job? Does this really sound like she likes it that much? Okay, so overall, it's all about what am I going to do next? So yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought. So many small transactions. I always say it, okay? It's not that one time. It's all those little ones you don't notice. And it's so easy to just swipe, 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 and not know what the heck is going on. That's why sometimes I like going around with my little wallet it's having 20 bucks in the back of it, okay? If I spend something, like, wow, I just spent all this money. What am I doing with myself? Okay, that's the idea. But it's easy to just go ahead and, hey, I'm going to swipe, 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 and you don't know where the money just went, okay? Guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. By the way, comment down below and let me know exactly how much money do you spend on food. Comment down below, let me know. On top of also, if you want to talk to me on one, join my Patreon, link down below, or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. If you want to watch another video, well, here's the video right here, and click my face right here. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.